Thank you. So yeah, I've I've seen Sandler movies from all over the map of quality at this point. From Sandler doing fart, piss, and cum humor to him frantically buying pudding cups to get frequent flyer miles and folding under the pressure of his failing marriage. <laughs> But uh, Funny People meets that, that sweet spot where you get to see the best of Sandler's uh, sense of humor as well as his, the best of his acting skills. Uh, this, this movie checks a lot of boxes for me, for sure. The, the humor doesn't try too hard or rely on gross out or demeaning jokes. The, the characters are all interesting and likable in their own right. I, I, I have never heard of this movie before looking into Sandler's uh, filmography for the 12 Days of Sandler project. And maybe that has something to do with how boring the poster is. I mean, come on, Judd Apatow. Three people in front of a white background. I mean, really. Anyway, I'll quit jerking it off here and get into some plot summary. So Adam plays George Simmons, a famous stand-up comedian who stars in several odd fictional comedies where he's a baby with an adult head and a merman. He's told he has a form of leukemia that's not looking good for him. And he takes experimental drugs that attack the cancer, but also his organs. <laughs> he meets Seth Rogen as the character Ira after he follows a horrible, horrible George, George Simmons set at a comedy club. George hires Ira to write jokes for him and becomes his assistant eventually. And for a while there, Ira's the only person that knows about his illness. <laughs> and that's, that's sort of the first act here, if you will. Because from there, George finds out he's getting better. And after, he's already got back in touch with his ex fiance But the reconnection becomes complicated when they start talking on the phone more and eventually comes to her house while her husband is away. Uh, George, George brings Ira pretty much everywhere he goes, so of course Ira gets caught in the middle of George's personal life as he feels responsible for Sandler potentially uh, breaking up a family. <laughs> George and his ex have sex, the husband comes home early from his trip, and everything explodes in a fight between Ira, George, and the husband, Clark. As George yells, I don't know how to fight, I'm a comedian. I thought that was funny. <laughs> In the end, George's ex chooses her family over him, and George fires Ira for feeling betrayed by him, basically. But George realized he was kind of being an asshole to Ira towards the end there, and they sort of make up in the final scene. George wrote some jokes for Ira after catching one of his sets and brings them to Rogan, where Rogan is working at the deli where he was working at the start of the film. But yeah, funny people... Funny People is a, a nice trip back to 2009 for me with jokes about Megan Fox and, and We Fit. George Simmons plays a uh, corporate gig for MySpace, and Tom even makes an appearance. There's also a lot of references to stuff that I like. Maybe that has something to do with growing up during 2009. I don't know. But, uh, for example... Rogan wants to bring his love interest, Daisy, to a Wilco show. And see, I can relate to that because I, too, like Wilco. But who doesn't, right? As I mentioned, there's a ton of great people in this. Jason Schwartzman and Jonah Hill are Ira's roommates. Aubrey Plaza, uh, Aubrey Plaza excuse me, <laughs> plays Rogan's love interest. Cameos include James Taylor, Sarah Silverman, and Eminem yells at Ray Romano, which is an awesome scene by the way. Rotten Tomatoes gave this movie a 69%. Nice. I read a lot of three-star reviews for this movie, but honestly, I'd give it four stars, maybe even four and a half stars. Uh, so obviously, I, I, I really liked Funny People, and I had never heard of it before personally, so therefore, it's, a, it's an underrated movie, and definitely worth a, worth a watch. 
that's that's my time. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks.